Hello and welcome, I'm Magin Panic and today we're gonna watch another Brawl Star video. Welcome to Retropolis. That's a wonderful video with uh, stylized characters. Uh, the characters are 3D, don't be tricked, <laughs> but very well stylized. Uh, let's just watch it from the very beginning. I'm ready to see some cool special effect oh my god right from the bad those videos have so much action and i love how it work did he try to shoot the bottle probably not i love how how it grows and then shrinks to make the uh, these shapes and something here, the character slides on the ground and because he's sliding, it's not just a one poof uh, of dust, it's just keep keep coming. Uh, that's why we have this, this kind of animation here. Let's watch it again. Nice. Nice transition. And those little bottles destroys into those. Uh, something that I appreciate as well are those little glints. I, I love how this one is coming around this gem and those things that are coming up and disappears. Lovely, lovely. Uh, as I said, the characters are 3D stylized. I will show you a couple, couple places where it uh, it is visible vividly. A nice thing on the wheel, everything is 3D, those things on the wheels are 2D and as well as this little uh, dust here. I appreciate that, it, it allows, and because it's stylized you can be tricked and it allows the creators to do a very cool thing. I need to see that explosion, slow motion. Uh, I, I, I love those, uh, those little... Uh, things that are coming out but I would love to see something that I that I love to see when the effects are not only uh, on itself and they have the purpose and they are in this space even if it's 3d if it's hand drawn inside of 3d environment it's cool to have a little uh, in these uh, examples parts that are touching this card and bouncing off of it. I don't see it here and it's a detail that I would love to see, bouncing off this box and getting getting out. This adds uh, extra level of believable into what's happening in this environment and the effect stitches together with, with the background and with the 3D a little bit more where when something like this appears on the screen. I wanted to uh, see that explosion, wonderful uh, glowing ball and I love the shadows on those characters and how everything turns white, that's lovely. Nice frame, I would try to do the impact frame so I would turn everything white and do those lines around the character. Uh, I love when artists are sneaking it. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about a little little frame, let me draw it. I would turn everything white and uh, I would add just a black black shapes like this coming from the center of the ball with this uh, with this perspective like this around the character and facial features and everything. It would be a cool, cool impact frame to sneak in and it would take just, just, I don't know, to make it good and precise, maybe just 10 minutes or five. It will add a lot of impact to the entire scene and I would love to see a frame like this in this shot. It works well without it, but with it, it will just uh, be a little more punchy, something to love. How this team disappears. 
that was kind of weak to go from this frame and turn it in this one. It would be more uh, more believable. I see what's what, what was going on because this explosion here pushes everything outwards. Uh, that's why it have those shapes here. But it's kind of a stretch to have it from here, uh, like like this, into this frame. That's too big of a stretch for me. But I love what is happening and all those light that are growing. Nice transition into this frame. I appreciate the squash and, squash and stretch in those animations. I, I wouldn't start with squash to make the stretch. I would start with the stretch. I, I, I might avoid this frame. Uh, but I love that the character just stretches and then it stays with a little bounce, overlap, wonderful. Uh, and also something that is in those videos very often are those smear frames. I appreciate they added it here. Uh, I don't know if they had a setup to do it in 3D or they have to draw over it to make this one little line here, but I love when, it ha when it's happening. Yes, please. Uh, a little thing where uh, you can see vividly uh, that it is 3D character and not 2D hand drawn is in this very spot. The shader for the 3D does something uh, to the uh, outlines of the character. So when the outline is uh, far enough one from another, it will create this line. Because those two fingers was so close to each other, it didn't fill it with this uh, line. And vividly, it's 3D. Uh, when you don't know it, you might be tricked, but a place like this, it's obviously it's uh, very, very easy to see when you actually know what is 2D, what is 3D, but to have a little detail like this, uh, it's more vividly. Characters in 3D usually works uh, smoother and by the smoothness of the animation you can say, I appreciate what they did here. They had the 3D character, but they uh, animated it every three frames or four, so it tricks you even more because in 3D you can just put it on once and it will generate all the frames. In 3D, it does not. Uh, I like those little sweat added on top of it. Nice thing uh, with the smoke inside and the glass getting out little dust and stars on top of it. Brawl stars. Another, another wonderful video. Oh my god. What can I say? These are very, very well made videos. And I ap appreciate every aspect of it. Every, every aspect of those videos is really, really cool. And, and how they blend together 3D and 2D in every single video. You can see that every single video have slightly different vibe uh, and they are not too similar. Uh, although they, they keep stitching everything together very well and that's something I appreciate. The comp team there, the compositing team there is a very, uh, very uh, well trained and experienced team. So well done, well done, whoever did this, kudos to you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the another video. Have a sick day. Cheers.